every time I bring up the fact that virtually all modern day crops have been genetically modified in some way, I always get somebody bringing up this argument that uh, that's selective breeding and that's completely different. Yes. It is different. This is an excellent graphic showing the differences. So we have more traditional ways of breeding crops, which they affect tens to hundreds of thousands of genes, where these more modern methods are just a couple to a few genes that are affected. So again, less unintended changes with these more precise, more modern methods. This was the one I was talking about yesterday, mutagenesis. So again, random unknown mutations. Also, they are not regulated like GMOs are, and they can be used in non-GMO and organic farming. When I talk about these other methods, and um, you can see these ones all are allowed in non-GMO and organic, I'm not saying that to scare you or as though that's a bad thing. So none of these are bad. GMOs aren't bad. So that's that's the entire point when I talk about this stuff. It's not to say, oh, this uses radiation, you, be, you should be afraid of that. It's just to say there are different methods they are different and what matters is the end result regardless of the method used. And when we're talking about testing the safety of the end result, these more modern methods that people are more afraid of are tested and researched way more because they are so much more regulated. So to be afraid of GMOs, the ones using these more modern methods that are more regulated, but really, you know, to not be afraid of these, which you shouldn't be afraid of any of them, it's just sort of showing how arbitrary that GMO label is and the non-GMO label is when you really understand that there are many different methods that can select for the same types of traits. It's just that these more modern methods that are considered GMO are more precise, are more efficient, are more regulated, and there are fewer unintended changes. All right, so all these methods, you can see five to 30 years um, to research and develop. These ones are only five to 10 years, three to five years. And again, these ones over here are the more regulated ones that are considered GMO. Also regulatory tests to test safety for humans and environmental impact. None of these are. These ones are, again, more regulated. Again, I'm not saying you should be afraid of any of these, but to be afraid only of these methods makes no sense.